Hi guys, welcome to Rapturous House. My name is Tanya. I hope you all are doing absolutely, absolutely wonderful. Today's reading is going to be for my Virgos. Let's see what's the energy surrounding you guys, okay? Let's see what's coming towards you. I do want to thank you all. I want to thank you all for all your likes, all your comments, all your shares. They're all greatly, greatly appreciated. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. That way you'll get notified anytime I upload any new video footages, but also that way I'm able to tug on your energy okay guys please remember only take what you need leave everything else behind if you would like a personal reading my website's information is down in the description below that is the only way that you're able to obtain a personal reading all right this is going to be for my virgos i would like to send a special shout out to all my members guys thank you thank you for supporting the channel thank you for joining me for all my subscribers guys thank you thank you for joining me all right, I do call on the Holy Spirit. I call on the white light that guides us. I call I call on the goddesses and the angels that protect us. Show me spirit. Show me what I need to see for my Virgos. What's the overall energy for my Virgos today? The ship has sailed. All right. You know what I just got? Somebody missed an opportunity. Like, the ship has sailed. What I'm getting, whether this is a, a relationship or this is a part of life, like a job itself. Someone didn't see your value. Someone didn't appreciate you. And the ship has sailed. Okay. Now, for some of you guys, you slept on an opportunity or an opportunity slept on you. Somebody could have had an opportunity with you. And there, there was like someone slept on it. But I feel like there's an energy of done over like zero fucks given. All right. This is early. <laughs> All right. You don't care. Like what this is telling me the overall energy for you guys is the ship has sailed. Whatever this means for you. We're going to get into this. And you don't care. Mm -mm. No. And it's the craziest thing. It's the craziest thing because I'm getting an energy of someone being shocked by the fact that you don't care. Yeah. Some of you guys, you may have truly needed whatever this is. Look, Ten of Swords. It didn't do right by you. It didn't serve you justice. Whether this is a relationship, a person, a position, a job, like it didn't do you justice. And somebody missed an opportunity with you. There's a there's a strong missed opportunity and you just don't care. You got zero Fs given. Ten of swords, walking away from backstabbing energy, closing out negative cycles negative patterns not partaking in anybody else's foolishness is what i'm getting in this energy show me spirit seven of swords but you see this seven of swords i just see you kind of taking your swords and walking away like you're not even wanting to fuss and fight like it's like you're not even gonna fuss and fight about this you know, you're extremely, extremely guarded, but there was, there's been so much BS, like so much BS. You're not even willing to fuss and fight about this. Yeah. You're like, you know what? I don't have time for this. This is definitely giving me like, you're not going to waste any mental. There's no more because you have in the past, but there's no more mental waste here. Like you're, you're kind of depleted when it comes to wasting your time, your energy, your thoughts. You're not, you're not willing to do that. You're not willing to sacrifice that. And I see you guys walking away looking real good. Yeah, walking away looking real good. Show me spirit. Six of wands. There was no success. There was no victory. There was no, you didn't get the recognition that you deserve. I feel like you did your part and you just you just didn't get the recognition that you deserve. You thought that you would be victorious. You thought that you would be successful. You thought that if you kept trying, a lot of you guys, you stayed here with that six of wands. You went from because the five of wands comes before that. Like you stayed, you competed. You, you were in the game. You tapped in 
Like, you know, you played your role, you did your part. Like you allowed certain people to get away with certain things and still you weren't successful. Still, you weren't victorious. Still, somebody didn't acknowledge the fact that you, you were in it. With that page of pentacles, what you were getting was a little, there was the, the opportunity, the offer itself wasn't something of substance, wasn't something sufficient, not for your standards, not for your standards. No, you weren't getting what it is that you deserve. This little, the little, the little nugget that you were getting, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't your standard. It was some, for some of you guys, it was just a, it's giving me an energy of something that was beneath you. You weren't getting what you deserved. Show me. Eight of wands. So I see, I see you, eight of wands. I feel like it's like really and truly kind of getting, getting the hell out of Dodge. Like really and truly kind of running away, but it's like driving away. This is fast action. This is you moving forward, but there is fast action moving forward. I feel like this is like once this is given an energy of <clears throat> taking back your power, really and truly taking back your power. For some of you guys, this could be communication coming in, um, but I feel like this is like you full force ahead. I'm getting a true full force ahead. And that's why I feel like Spirit is saying this ship has sailed with you because you're all about the future. This is you driving towards your future. And this is like fast action moving forward towards your future. Show me Spirit. Death. Scorpio energy. For some of you guys, there's something from your past. There's something that has ended that wants to come back in. Scorpio energy. Death is a, it's a, it's a major it could be transformative it really and truly could be transformative but i feel like with this death in reverse it's like something that exited your life wanting to come back but i'm getting an energy of something that hasn't transformed properly like it's not it's it's almost like something that's just not finished cooked show me two of cups it wants to come back because there's love for some of you guys there is a decision that you're going to have to make when, when it comes to your to matters of the heart it's if, to do with matters of the heart what's best for you this could be a decision a friend returning a lover returning a soulmate returning this is someone that you have ended things with and you may receive communication from this person this was something that just wasn't It wasn't giving you what you deserved. You were more like you gave so much to this situation, to this connection, to whatever this is that wants to come back into your life. To whatever this is. Let's see. Show me spirit. What is this? Ten of swords. Seven of cups. A bad decision, a bad choice. Why is the seven of cups here? Queen of swords. Now you're kind of, you're so, you don't have such a nice demeanor. <laughs> like, you know, somebody chose wrong. Somebody stabbed you in your back. Like, you know, it's a backstabbing energy. And whether this is like a career path, whether this is your work, your job, whether this is a relationship in some any kind of way, shape or form, a relationship you could have with a family member, a friend, a relationship you could even have with money here. Seven of Cups is that you had so many different choices. You really and truly did. And you're feeling like you may have made the wrong decision. And in that in that mindset you are you've grown to be very guarded with your heart guarded with yourself guarded with your time sometimes even cold like very like okay there is no middle grounds like there's no gray area for you a lot of you guys right now present moment it's black and white it's like everyone who comes towards you everyone that's in your energy they have to be just like they have to be like okay it's 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 a yes or it's a no there's no like a possibility or a maybe like it's giving me like you know you've been through a lot like this is giving me an energy of you have truly been through a lot I feel like I'm mean, actually I just heard like for some of you guys you've kissed a lot of frogs and you've made a lot of bad decisions and it's like giving like you're just like your life is just becoming just 
I feel like it's like it's like your behavior. I feel like your behavior and your attitude is justified. It really and truly is. But you're not about any BS. And you're quick to say what it is that you want. You're quick to say what it is that you deserve. Some of you guys are even quick to cuss somebody out because you don't give a nothing. Like you have zero Fs to give. Yeah. Show me the seven of swords for my Virgo spirit. What's the seven of swords? Ace of pentacles with the queen of cups. So there is love here. Very, intu very intuitive. Ace of pentacles is a new offer. Nine of pentacles coming to you. Coming to you, you know, this nine of pentacles is this energy, the, the the first energy that I picked up, like you got your, you got your shit together. If it's not all the way together, you're working on getting it to get together. Like you're in a better position, a better posture than you were, say this time last, last year is what I'm getting in this energy. Like, I feel like you're taking care of yourself. You're doing a lot of you guys, you're doing it all by yourself. You're doing it. And I'm not talking you it's, you're doing it gracefully. You're doing it. You're looking good. You're taking care of yourself. You're built. You're building a savings. You're building bank is what I'm hearing. Like I'm getting an energy of you really and truly you're in this place. You're in this posture where where you're OK. You're kind of comfortable in yourself right now, present moment, even in your position in life, whether in something or not in something, you're really and truly like you're good. That's what I'm getting in this energy. Seven of swords. I feel like that's why you're so okay with taking these swords and walking away. Like it's like you pull the, the swords right on out of your own back and you're like, I'm, I'm, I'm not even doing this. Ace of pentacles. You're going towards new offers, new opportunities. You're going towards a more prosperous future, a more prosperous future. Queen of cups. This is like you being, you being the bestie. You still like you're not allowing, you know, at one point in time, a lot of you guys, you were really cold, really kind of standoffish, like over because you you've been through so much. But I feel like you're kind of becoming yourself. You're kind of. Yeah, that's what I'm getting in this energy with this Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Now, for some of you guys, you could have a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces that's coming in. This person could offer there, there's a new opportunity that this person could be offering to you okay we're gonna see i'm gonna see what that is um but what this queen of cups is telling me is that you're ready you're ready to love you're ready to be loved you're ready to be someone's friend again like you're ready i just heard you're ready to be somebody's nana again like you know i just feel like such a because you're in a better position, a better place in your life, you're in a better place in, within yourself too, I'm hearing in your soul. Like even after all this detriment that has happened into your life, because you're in a better place, now you're open. You're open to be kind, to be sweet, to be generous, to be caring. Because at one point in time, you weren't open because it's not how you were feeling. At one point in time, you weren't open because it's not how you were feeling. And for a lot of you guys, because your money's better, your mentality is better. Your mind is better. You're not as stressed as you were at some point in time. Yeah, for a lot of you guys. Give me a sec. All right, let's see. Because I want to see what, um, what this new offer is that's coming in for you guys. Show me spirit. What's this new offer that's coming in for my Virgos? Because there is something new coming in. Could be new money. Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups is Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces again. But this is someone here that is not an emotionally available. What is this new offer? Yeah, the sun. Somebody that's not happy. Somebody that is not happy. It could be a Leo. It could be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or a Leo. But this person is not emotionally mature. And this person is not happy right now, present moment in their life. Show me, spirit. The tower. 
Scorpio energy could definitely be a Leo or a Scorpio, but this is very unexpected. This is very unexpected that this person would be in such emotional turmoil. Why is this person coming in with a new offer for my Virgos? For some of you guys, this is a past person. The lovers, because they love you. Gemini energy. Because this person loves you. Like really, really loves you. Five of Cups. This is a past person here. Look at that. Five of Cups at the bottom of the deck. This person is very, very sorry. Very remorseful. Very sorry. Very remorseful. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you really and truly nurtured and cared for this person. You were this person's friend and their confidant. You were this person's friend and their confidant. Yeah. All right, show me the six of wands. Why was there a lack of success and victory? A lack of recognition. Getting what it is that you worked so hard for. Five of wands to the seven of wands. Hmm. There's a lot of jealousy and competition here. Seven of wands is like, you got that. Like, you know like you walked away from this with class and i feel like that's why this big energy of this ship has sailed is here because with this five of wands this is giving me a lot of past energy like this is giving me a lot of events that have already unfolded like you not getting the public recognition that you deserve you not getting acknowledgement for the hard work and the time and the effort that you put into something with that five of wands there was some competition there was challenges but i feel like you embraced it you were a part of it you were in it seven of wands this was something that you fought for this was something that you would defend to the very end to the bitter end is what i'm hearing but still why is this spirit four of cups the missed opportunity yep the ship has sailed a missed opportunity and you're over it now as i see 17 17 on the clock you're absolutely over it now yeah so it's like a cup is being offered to you and something is being offered to you i feel like for some of you guys that's this ace of pentacles while it's being offered to you look at you you're like mm, i'm not mm -mm. I'm not too sure I want that. And I'm talking about being stubborn about it. You're very hard-headed in this matter, in this ret retrospect. Why is that? Is because you were in it at some point in time. You were devoted at some point in time. There was a lot of energy of, you didn't want me when you had me. And however that applies to your position, your situation. Like not wanting me when you had me. And now look at this. now you don't you don't care it's very hard for you to give a damn now it's very hard for you to give a damn show me this page of pentacles virgo taurus capricorn energy some of you guys could have been a younger virgo taurus capricorn well virgo energy but you know i feel like you could have been the younger person or dealing with a younger virgo taurus capricorn or somebody that act immature but this was definitely an energy of someone giving you so little there was so little six of swords Moving on to karma waters because you weren't getting what you deserved. See, that's you moving on because you weren't getting what you deserved. What you were getting was so little, so little. Show me the six of swords, spirit. Five of pentacles. You're not, and then you go into recovery mode. You see, that's you. The five of pentacles is coming out of the code. Somebody wants to come out of the code. Yes. Somebody that could have thought they moved on to something better. This person could have truly thought that they were they like they were winning. I'm hearing like the, I'm in my head. I'm like the audacity of this person because I feel like you know even if somebody else offered a position to somebody else, a position even in their personal life or in business, however this goes, it's like they thought that they were winning. They thought that they were getting better, but that's not true. You know, I'm, I'm seeing like, you know, now, now there, there's, there's recovery mode. You're in recovery mode. They're in recovery mode. Show me this five of pentacles, page of cups. Now they're sorry. Could be a younger cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. 
For some of you guys, this person is waiting unexpectedly. Hmm, but they're going to be highly disappointed. Highly disappointed. Hmm, this person is watching you and they're all in, they're in a mental prison over you. They're in a mental prison over you. Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. I'm definitely getting for some of you guys, this could be a younger water sign. Or this could have just really and truly been somebody low-balling you. Like somebody truly low-balling you. And now they could have lost money over this. Like, there's a whole, like, not you getting Nine of Cups. Now you're content. You know, you're happy. You're happy. You're content. See that? That Nine of Cups is when you're, like, truly fulfilled. You're, you're, you're happy where you're at. You're content. Some of you guys, this could be somebody coming right on back around to offer you a job or a new position or wanting you to return to their company or wanting you to return to a relationship, a connection. But you're content. It took you a while to get to where you are, but you are. And I feel like that's why they keep saying the ship has sailed and you don't give you're not giving a lot. <laughs> no. Show me this eight of wands. Show me this eight of wands. Page of swords. See, somebody that's watching you, somebody that's watching you wants to communicate. They want to talk. This person could be traveling towards you. But communication is coming in in some type of way, shape, or form. Six of cups. Past energy. Past life energy. This is something from your past that's returning. This could be a past opportunity. This could be a past relationship. But this is something from your past that wants to come back in. Why is this spirit? The fool. Because somebody feels foolish. You know, they tried to start a new beginning without you. See that? Aries energy. They tried to start something new without you. Like they tried to, yeah. Yeah. Ain't that something? And now they feel foolish. This person is very immature. Like somebody was being very petty. Somebody was being very petty. Show me death, spirit. Four of wands. So somebody could be, this could be somebody that you were married to and you divorced this person or someone that you lived with. Someone here that you were, you were at some point in time building a solid foundation with. But I see somebody from your past, they're returning after, for somebody here, it could truly be a divorce. It could truly be a divorce or a relationship ending and they're coming right on back around. For some of you guys, something that's coming back around to you, it costs you your stability and your foundation. It costs you like if you got laid off or you didn't get a position that you wanted, you could have lost your home. You could have lost an income like it really and truly it unfolded certain things in your life that kind of started a ripple effect. But nobody expected you to look this good. Nobody expected you to do this good. Even after. All of this. I'm just getting like someone didn't want you when they had you. Show me this four of wands spirit. King of swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. This is a divine counterpart because I have both of the king, the king and the queen of swords here. But this is like someone here that's untrustworthy. I'm also getting someone here like they stay in their mind. Their mental is not well. Three of pentacles. This could be somebody that you work with. Or somebody here that there's someone else in this energy. There's someone else in this person's energy. Who is this person? Spirit. Who is this person that's in this person's energy? Like I feel like this person wants to come back in and trying to collab with you. Because this talks about collaboration. Who is the person in this person's energy spirit? The hangman. Somebody that's kind of narrow-minded. Somebody that's kind of narrow-minded Pisces energy. They wanted to pop out. The emperor. 
So for some of you guys, this could be a narrow-minded employ employer. This could be a narrow-minded employer that now wants to collab. For some of you guys, this could have been a husband, a wife. You know, this is this is a father figure. This is the emperor. Somebody here that uses their power of manipulation. Somebody here that wants to be head honcho, but they really, really and truly, they're not even built like that. Like, I feel like, you know, I, it's, it's not really and truly telling me that this person has somebody else in their energy. What it's telling me is that this person wants to come and collab with you. Like, I feel like this is this person wanting to come in. For some of you guys, it's the, this the way that this person is going to come towards you. They're not going to just outright be like, I want you. They're not going to be like that. It's like, it's almost like giving me a game that this person's going to play. It's like, okay, say what you got to say. Mean what you say. That's what's like. It's like, get to the point. Is that I feel like that's kind of going to be your attitude. That's kind of going to be your tone. Like, I'm going to need you to get to the point. Say what you got to say. But you're not, you're not really entertained. I'm not getting an energy of you really and truly being entertained. This person is very narrow minded, but I'm also getting like, some, you know, those type of people that be like, okay, this is a woman's place. This is a man's place. That's kind of the attitude that I'm getting. Could definitely be a Pisces or an Aries here. Yeah. But I do say this person loves you. I do say that this person is, that this person loves you. With the two of cups here, this person sees you as a life partner. Now they do. They see you as a life partner. And by all means, it's at your discretion. But I feel like right now, present moment, a lot of you guys, you're not, even if you change your mind later on, because you can always change your mind. Right now, I'm getting an energy that you feel like that ship has sailed and, you're, and you don't give up. Like you're not really giving in right now, present moment. No. Show me this two of cups nine of wands you've been through too much you've been through too much and you you don't you this battle is it's almost like you're you fought your battles and you don't know if this is a battle that you want to continue fighting for knight of pentacles see that your virgo taurus capricorn energy like you were you were at one point in time you were you were still willing to give something to this but not right now present moment no not right now present moment five of swords but you don't want to fuss and fight either you don't want to fuss and fight you don't want the drama no it's like you want to be you want you want the peace that you deserve ace of swords and the page of wands so somebody's going to send you a message there's communication that's coming in this could be a DM. This could be a text message. This could be a phone call. You know, for some of you guys, I see this person actually showing up, truly showing up because somebody wants to clear the air. Somebody wants to clear the air with you. Yeah. They want to clear the air with you. Look, bottom of the deck, we have justice. I feel like the reading I did last night as well, like you got justice, but I feel like somebody here feels like, justice hasn't been served because they don't have you because you're not a part of their life look at that you nine of pentacles like somebody's coming back for their king or their queen because this is the energy that i'm getting and with the queen of wands look how good you look like you you're unfazed you do you do what you want you're doing what you want you have a lot of eyes on you look at that the sun you're happy Leo energy, you are happy. Look at that, the magician. Gemini Virgo energy, standing in your power. Look, standing in your power, Leo energy. You're absolutely, absolutely strong. Somebody tried to break you. Like really and truly, like somebody tried to break you, but you are the hermit. This is like an all-knowing. Virgo energy, like all-knowing. See that? The tower came down and you moved to you moved on. You started planning for your future. You started taking action. You didn't stay stuck. You didn't stay stuck. Look at that. Now you've built yourself up. You have built yourself up. You, you acknowledge yourself. You give yourself the respect that you deserve. You put yourself on a pedestal. It's like you don't need somebody else to do it for you. You do it for yourself. Look, Ace of Wands. New offers, new opportunities, new creative sparks, new businesses. There's new success here. 
You're extremely guarded, extremely guarded. You're guarding your money. You're guarding what you built. You're so guarding what you built. Judgment. This is all about your life making the right decisions. You're walking away from anything that you do that 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 doesn't give you what you deserve. Anything that tries to drain you emotionally, you're walking away. You're making a choice to love yourself, put yourself first here. Some of you guys, you're planning solo trips. There's a sense of freedom here. There's a sense of freedom here. And we can keep this going. But you're in a good posture. You're in a good position. Yeah. Show me spirit. What's your advice? Whoa. Take the one that came out. It says partnership. Allow helpful, supportive partnerships into your personal life and career. And both parties benefit as a result. You are receiving help from heaven and from a person who brings needed skills and resources. Because we did see that. We did see that. So for some of you guys, and I did tell you that like in the energy, it's like you could truly change your mind about this position, about this person, but it's not going to be like instantly. It's going to, it's going to be like slow and steady. It's going to take you taking the taking some time to think things through. It's not going to be an instant change of your mind because I did feel that in the energy, because I did say that to some of you guys, you could change your mind. You may change your mind. But it's not going to be instantaneous. Show me spirit. Do the work. And release jealousy. It says it's not enough to dream or pray. You've also got to take the positive action steps that you are being divinely guided to take. Consistently working on your priorities will make them flourish like a lush flower garden. Spirit is saying that if you guys choose to reconcile or go back to something, there is a lot of work that needs to be done. You have to be willing to do the work yourself. Because I definitely get a position right now, present moment, a lot of you guys, you have zero, F, zero Fs to give. You know, that's your position right now, present moment. Why? Because you were extremely disappointed, but somebody here wants to collaborate with you. Somebody here wants to be a partner with you. For some of you guys, somebody here wants to work with you. For some of you guys, it could be an old boss who wants to start a business with you, wants to, wants you to come back and run their business. For some of you guys, this is a relationship from your past that's coming back in. And yeah, this person may have not given you what you needed in the past, but I'm getting an energy of somebody that wants to try again. And some of you guys, you may choose to change your mind. It says release jealousy. Jealousy is an affirmation that you don't have something and the universe manifests exactly as you affirm. Let other successes inspire rather than frustrate you. If they can have it, so can you. See that? All right, my loves. If this message resonates, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Until next time. Bye, guys.